the opposite of, of all the other series like Disney Star Wars. The old people are saving the day, not the young bucks. And then push it off the grumpy old people out the way. I'm sorry. It's all right. I wasn't lying when I said I fucking cried to this shit. They're home, dude. <laughs> That's a little troll to the fans because they always complain because there wasn't a new carpet in the in the shows. Hmm. Oh, oh. <sighs> you hear that voice? Mm-hmm. That's Major Barrett Roddenberry, dude. Mm. You haven't heard that since. Oh, man. I remember when he was cast from Reading Rainbow, the Reading Rainbow episode where he visited Star Trek and then he yeah. became part of it. I love that episode. <clears throat> Tucks this shirt down. Wow, Brian. If you're not watching this show, you were missing the fuck out. Yeah. 10 out of 10. 11 out of 10. Go back and watch. Clip it out, dude. There's tears coming down my cheek. I saw it on the thing. Like, I I was, I, they're gone now. But, like, you could see, I, I, yeah, it's. It's really good. It's really good. Dude. Like, I've been telling my wife that we should watch it together. I'll probably have to rewatch this with my wife. It's Not so have good. to. I will want to rewatch it's it with It's the her. third time I've seen it today, dude. Yeah. And it still gets me. Uh, no, I'm just... This, this is... How are they going to wrap this up in one episode? I don't know, man. But that's the, but, that's the other thing. It's so good, and it's going to end, though, man. I, I hope... I'm hoping... Like, I'm not one for hashtag campaigns. You guys know. I am. Like, then let's hashtag. Let's let's do the let's jump and on a hashtag Picard, bandwagon. Then you no, Star Trek Legacy. Star Trek Legacy. Okay. Tag Star Trek on Paramount Plus, and the showrunner Terry Metalis. Okay. It's probably the best way we can get any kind of trend. Trend. I mean, for all you Snyder fans, that one day I was with you. Okay. Help us out. I mean, some of you guys. I, I support fans. most hashtags. I do. 
God, I want to talk to Zod about this shit, man. Oh, yeah. I need to talk to good, good old Zod. Robert Meyer Burnett, we got to get it. We got to get reach out to him. Yeah. Yes, indeed. Whew. Let it be so, everyone. Let it be so. Oh, my goodness. But anyways, yeah. No, thank you for uh, taking the time to, to watch that with me, man. Oh, no, I loved it. It wasn't worth waiting a couple of days to, to try to catch it, you know, to try to catch it, you know? Mm -hmm. So it was like, no, we have to watch this one. Like, the, the internet, like, it didn't break for it, but, like, in terms of Star Trek, it did. Yeah. So, okay. I, 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 I'm I going to tell my wife we need to watch this together. I'm going to start from season, the first episode, watch it all the way through again with her, because it's mm -hmm. that good. And I've been yeah. telling my sister, who is a Next Generation fan, that she should watch it. If you like the next generation, this show's for you. I'll have to tell my dad. It's it's every yeah, that, little bit of feeling. Now, I don't know. Am I gonna feel good going to start the new worlds after this, though? The, it's another level, though. This is another no. Level. Strange New Worlds is a different show. It's set in a different time period, so it's it's a little bit different. My thing is, is like this is this is kind of like my restore the Snyderverse. Mm. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like. I want I, I Star Trek's going to continue, okay, but I want to see more of the Picard. Verse. I don't think I can't think of a better storyline than what they did to have. Um, well, and to not keep it going though, like, to have Picard's son introduced and then under then per, his son is maybe his biggest threat, and then have to deal with that, and then deal with the Borg, and then get aboard the the USS Enterprise. At the end, yeah. amazing, you know. And it was like they were home. That's the act. That's a set. They rebuilt it. Mm. Like there was a documentary about them selling it off years and years ago. Really? Okay. Yeah. Uh, a lot of it was at the Star Trek Experience, and then when they shut that down in Vegas, um, it went up for auctions at Christie's. So a lot of it went for <laughs> some bank. And a lot of it, it ended up in like a warehouse somewhere. Mm. So, um, yeah, it's it's insane. Um, that's why they brought back a lot of the people who helped design it in the first place. I'm just, uh, this has been such a great day, guys. Uh, thank you to the viewers that have stuck it out and watched it with us, man. Like, oh, we're watching the next one live. We're gonna, I'm gonna oh, stay up. Oh, absolutely, we're staying up set for it, the finale. Set, set it up tomorrow for next week. The time. Yeah, I'll set it up for next week. Um, I've got a few people that want to watch along as well. Um, in like if uh, Sci-Fi Center, you know they have that new thing in StreamYard where they can uh, you can multi-stream it even if you're not part of our StreamYard. He could do that. We'll have a big party. Oh yeah, absolutely. Um, so you could talk to them about it, get fade and yeah, man, you know, and um, we'll have a good old time, dude. Uh, get as much people. We'll have a Star Trek party next Thursday. Or uh, next next Wednesday midnight <laughs> Thursday morning ish, mm -hmm. uh, but yeah no it'll be it'll be really fun guys and hopefully we do the same thing with Mandalorian because it's coming up for the finale as well so we're we are just living good right now in terms of what like shows to watch mm -hmm. um, I'm I'm very happy I mean and I wasn't the dog on other properties but. Uh, a lot of storylines are a little ageist. You got to have the people old and grumpy and not not involved. And then this is the they're saving the day. That's yeah, it's the opposite of Star Wars. Yeah, it's different. You know, they didn't they didn't like as a lot of people like to say is they didn't cast their characters off for the new characters. They have their right. characters there to support the new ones yeah. while yeah. being there. You know, it, mm. it's a whole different thing. And I think it's the the a tribute to the fact that that the, that core group of actors have worked together since 1986. Mm -hmm. Like they have been together through thick and thin throughout the years. I mean, people aren't even married that long, <laughs> you know, they share their lives with each other. They, they, you know, they visit, they talk. I mean, like it's, you see it and it shows like mm -hmm. just, just the love in their face coming back to it. You know, I, I mean, and it was, their response was the fans' response. Like, like I said, I was watching everybody today. Just 
everybody I thought was going to be negative. And it was funny. Like I, I went on to, to Joe, to Joe's. That's where I went. Uh, Cause mm -hmm. he was talking about it. And I was telling him, it's like, dude, you know, Gary was being positive about it. Right. Cause he, he's Joe's one of those people that thinks that Gary can't be positive about anything. Crazy Joe. Yes. And I'm just okay. like, guys, you didn't realize that like they are humans. Like, yeah. I'm not trying to be a dick and I'm not trying to excuse past behaviors or anything like that. But like, as an olive branch, you know, Picard could be a show that kind of unites fandoms a little bit. Mm -hmm. To where we kind of set aside some of our differences and say, hey, you know what? This is a good fucking show. You know, it's quality. And we haven't had quality that respects the fans in a very fucking long time. Because, I mean, I feel respected. You know, they use that word fan service and it's like you, you kind of it's, it's kind of a bad word. Mm -hmm. You know, like, and as a fan, and I'll let you go soon, man, because I know you're tired. Uh, I'm just I, hot. <laughs> yeah, me, me too. Um, I, but, I stayed, I stayed all in Madman gear for you too, because like I can't make it wear. But it was I, better. I had, it was I better. Had to unzip a little bit. It was yeah. better with the with your uniform on. But no, I'm I'm just hoping that like, oh man, just that we can get some more, and it's just good conversation because you guys know why i got on youtube it wasn't for star wars it wasn't for comic book movies at all um i it, it those were always something that i liked and i watched and i kind of had a passing knowledge of because i used to watch the cartoons back in the 90s but um and i liked the the batmans of course like you guys know the, the burtons and all that shit but star trek is why i got on and star trek because everybody was always dogging on it they hated it they talked mm -hmm. so bad about it and i joined up with max and stuff right around the time that picard season one came out and since then i've i've tried my best to yes there are things you can nitpick about star trek picard's first two seasons there's a little bit of heavy-handedness when it comes to politics i mean you know it's something that star trek has done but just not to that degree so i could see why it was off-putting to a lot of people um the swearing uh, yes it, it's star trek but like yeah no it's not really not known for it's more if we're supposed to be an evolved species why are we swearing in the 24th century you know what i mean so i, I can understand a lot of the nitpicks and a lot of the reasons why people didn't like it i just hope that this could be something that can bring people together as opposed to splitting it mm -hmm. and that's so rare in fandom because it's like you know even even like the Snyder Cut split the fans up, too. You know what I mean? Because you had one camp that was like, okay, this is great. Thank you. Cool. That's it. And then you had another group of people that were just like, okay, what, what, what's next? Mm -hmm. And, I, dude, I can't fault either group, okay? Because I was in table A in that one, okay? But see, with Star Trek, it's a whole different story. Mm -hmm. Like, I know they have different angles of star trek and stuff like that and to me it's like different parts of the comic movie stuff i just think that you know i would love to see that this era continued because it's something that i i grew up on i love that 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 little piece of star trek and if i have anything this if i'm gonna be like if i'm gonna fanboy out about something that's what i'm gonna fan no, it was great. Star Trek, I'm happy. I'm or Star Wars, I'm content, dude. I'm kind of just like, I understand how it is. It's a factory, dude. It's you just bump the feeder feeder thing when you want want to watch something. You know what I mean? I don't take Star Wars as seriously as a lot of people should. Most of the time, I take I get frustrated when people take it too seriously. Like the yeah. ones that are like, "Oh my god, it's not like Legends." It's like, dude, just just chill, just sit back, relax, and let them do what they're gonna do. You're gonna watch it either good, bad, or indifferent. So the best thing to do is just to sit back and relax. And then when it comes yeah. out, you can talk shit. But anyways, I'm very interested to see how this plays out next week. Me too. Well, thank you, Brian. Thanks for sharing with us. Uh, yeah, Chubby Teddy, did you do see the this new episode of Picard? Amazing. Tell him, tell him, Brian. Chubby Teddy, you got oh, watch Chubby. With your wife, brother. You got to get on this. Uh, the card action dude. we both got chubbies watching that yeah yes we got to see the Full. big d oh and it was the big fat d 
you know yeah. 